Nope, here comes the, the crucible. Come, Sarbinger. From here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. No one hold back. Bad odds are better than no chance at all. The alternative is death. At least this gives us a chance. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Shit. Here he is. This shit is fucking crazy. You got Harbinger shooting at everybody. Holy crap. We're so close. Oh, watch out, guys. I need an evac right now. I'm surprised Harbinger hasn't uh, shot the Normandy down. Come on. Here, take her. Shepard. You gotta get out of here. I'm all right, Shepard. Don't argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. <laughs> He'll just slow me down. I'll always love you. No matter what happens. You mean everything to me, Liara. You always will. Shepard, I... I am yours. Go! Aww. And then it's time for the the final boss fight, Marauder Shields. Our entire 
force was decimated. It's too much. We need to regroup. Fall back to the buildings. It sucks that we don't actually get to talk with Harbinger or anything. It's the longest walk from here to the uh, control panel. Come on, Shepard. Oh. Marauder shields. I defeated him. I defeated the final boss. Yeah, okay. I think I'm totally going to put that as the, the title of the video. Because this whole... Priority Earth mission is so long. I think I'm just gonna have this split up into into three episodes. Patriot. Oh, shit. Here comes the crucible. As a keeper, Shepard. Shepard. Uh. Uh. Anderson. You up here, too? I followed you up. But we didn't come out in the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Dead bodies everywhere. <sighs> you okay? So I'm okay. Just gotta keep moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh, sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. 
Let's go. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. I like how it's the same few people, like the armor and stuff, over and over again. And then this looks like the Shadow Broker ship with the lightning. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we were talking about. Anderson. And then there's only like Damn one it. way into this room, but they're somehow in different areas. So like this whole part of the game just gets kind of wonky. Whether this is like a dream or or whatever, we don't really know. You yeah, see, this is really the only like walkway. And now this next part, I, I've never been able to do the uh, the reputation checks with the uh, the elusive man. So let's see if I have enough uh, reputation. But you never know. Anderson. Estimated you, Shepard. What a indoctrination. I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so. They're controlling you, and he looks right at the camera. We're not the enemy here. Why waste your time with us if you can control the Reapers? Because I need you to believe. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Uh, uh, only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them. Or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're a power hungry. So I've always gotten f through the first like two checks. I think there's like one or two more that I'm never able to, to get through. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <clears throat> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. <sighs> I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. 
Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? So what are you waiting for? Then open the arms. Let the Crucible dock and use it to end this. I... I will. Do it. I... No, it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let they you. They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself. You're indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. All right. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. I think I've passed it. But I think this is the last one. Then you failed humanity. You're weak and you're selfish. Because of you, humanity will suffer. No! I... I saved humanity! No. You sacrificed us for your own selfish wants. Your lust for control. No! No! You were supposed to protect us. And you failed. No! I am the savior of humanity. I am the pinnacle of our... Good. I don't know what that would have done if I didn't press it. I just said screw it. you could see it like I do, Shep. It's so uh, perfect. It does look perfect, except it's kind of burning and destroyed because of the Reapers, but yeah, it's perfect. This is it, everyone. The arms are Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. 
I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? And now let's see if, uh... Shepard? Commander? Shepard lives hey. by the end of this. What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard! I don't see... I'm not sure how to... Commander! Here we come, the, uh... The Star Child. So do I want red, blue, or green ending? Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? The Catalyst. I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. You little brat. Solution. To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. Tell me about the Catalyst. You said you're the Catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. No, the Leviathan. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. 
to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. Leviathan. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Reapers. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve. But it was the only solution. You've said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence. But those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. How is this not conflict? We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. Fuck you, child. I'm killing your ass after this long ass cutscene's over. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. Crucible. What do you know about the crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. <laughs> we first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. You'll never understand us. The defining characteristic of organic life is that we think for ourselves. Make our own choices. You take that away, and we might as well be machines, just like you. You have choice, more than you know. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The crucible changed me created new possibilities but i can't make them happen if there is to be a new solution you must act it is now in your power to destroy us i like how the destroy option is renegade but be warned but control is good well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. 
I want details. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. So Geth and Edie there will, will still die. Be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. It will end the war. But the Reapers will be destroyed. Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. Ah. Huh. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. I don't understand. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. I'm not losing anything. I didn't fight this war so I could give up everything I have. And I do not look forward to being replaced by you, but I would be forced to accept it. Not if I refuse to do it. There is another solution. Synthesis. The green option. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. How? Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. There is little time left, but I will try. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I won't make that decision. You're asking me to change everything. Everyone. I can't make that decision. I won't. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. Then let's end it. Let's get this over with. Do what you must. I remember when they first uh, released the uh, extended cut, I turned around and shot at him, and he just got angry at me, and then the cycle continued and everybody died. I think I've only done the control option once, and then every other time I just destroyed them. So I got through the, uh, the elusive man, uh, reputation, uh, check. So let's see if, uh, Shepard will survive this. Because this will be my first playthrough. I actually was able to achieve that. Legend. 
and long service metal. Goodbye, Edie. She'll probably get destroyed now. Liara. I don't get why he had to get so close to it. He could have just kept shooting from a safe Wall distance. Street. The crucible is armed. Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Come on, buddy. We can't stay here. That sucks. The Geth all die, and then Edie dies. Unless there's a way to protect them with a high enough uh, war assets, but I don't know. And then seeing the reapers just fucking drop is pretty sick. Just like that, it spreads throughout the galaxy. Dacia. Chanka. They don't show us the geth or anything, but that might be uh, after this cutscene, actually.
but I have no idea what the planet is. have been defeated. Against all odds and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child every civilization, on every world. No, oh, Samara and her daughter. Kasumi. Saeed hanging out on the beach. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. Aww. Krogan babies. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. No, oh, yeah, no, no quarry, uh, no geth rather. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Spend all that time finally getting the quarry Together, and the Together we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. To achieve peace and then I end up just destroying them. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. Oh, yeah, Edie's dead. But is he actually dead, though? Or and am I going to get the many challenges ahead of us? The cutscene. We can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. I think she's supposed to actually put it up on the, uh, the wall signify that he's dead, but...
I think this is the cutscene. It's the cutscene, he survived. This is the first ever Mass Effect playthrough that I've done. Where I got Kirahi to survive. I got the Geth and Quarian to uh, achieve peace. I passed all the checks with the elusive man, and I got Commander Shepard to survive. And I got to capture it all on fucking recordings for YouTube. That is so sick. I don't think there's any more cutscenes after this. When I saw the all that rubble leading up to uh, his body, I, I got chills. Because I realized that I actually fucking did it. So I wonder where that rubble is. Is he still on the Citadel or is he at Earth? So I gotta wait for this to... After what? So it was like 17 videos for Mass Effect 1, 29 for Mass Effect 2, and then this one will probably be like 40, 41. So like 70 plus videos total for this series. This video isn't going to get uploaded until fucking probably May at this point. Because the videos that I've got uploaded right now, as of February 11th, it goes way until like April. Yeah, April. So that's like, I'm at part, I want to say like 11 or 12. So this might actually end up going until like almost June or July. Which is fucking insane. And so I'll have, uh... Videos... Regularly uploaded for the next few months, which is, I guess, good. Because <sighs> then... By the time this uploads, God only knows what I'll be doing... Between... February 11th and whenever this uploads. Because I'll want to do uh, some reviews for new games that are coming out. I don't know if I want to do uh, any more Let's Plays. I was thinking the next series I want to do is do uh, the Kingdom Hearts games. But like, I'll do Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. Whether I want to do like Dream Drop and Birth by Sleep, I'm not sure. It's not even going to let me. I don't think there's really anything else. It'll probably just tell me to... Uh, 
that I've beaten the game and that it's uh, New Game Plus. Did that all really happen? What? What is she? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything I don't know you what can that was imagine. about. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. My cat decided to come and join me and then just like panicked and almost jumped onto my fucking power outlet. Life is a special story of its own. Okay. Tell me another story about the shepherd. The shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Congratulations on bringing an end to the Reaper threat. Commander Shepard has become a legend. And from here, you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and for the team here at BioWare. And like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as the vision of a small team. But over the years, it has grown. That growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of the community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing further adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. The Mass Effect team. Oh, so which, uh... Is this before Earth, or... Oh, this is before the... The assault on the elusive man's base. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I might, but I might not do it right away. Finally, I have beat Mass Effect 3, Le uh, well, Mass Effect Legendary Edition in its entirety, so. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.